Hi, my name is Dave Andrews. Today I'm going to tell you a little bit about CPUs. Now CPU stands for Central Processing Unit. That is uh, basically the brains of any computer. It is the uh, main chip that controls the operation of math functions and ties all of your hardware together uh, so that it can do operations such as showing programs on your screen or sending uh, text to a printer. I'm going to pull up a diagram of a CPU here. And uh, this is a very simplified diagram, obviously. CPU consists of uh, basically your interface to memory, which uh, on, in a computer that, that we use in modern terms would be uh, called RAM or random access memory. And uh, it has an instruction fetcher, which will pull the instruction that is to be executed from memory. Now, a single instruction would be uh, add, subtract, uh, you know, store a value, uh, instructions like that. Those then go into the instruction decoder, which uh, is a system by which the processor decides what it's going to do with the data that's being fed to it. If it gets an add command, it needs to know where to store the result, uh, what the two values it needs to add is, and it stores those into registers, which is one of the larger uh, portions of a CPU. These are basically values that store a single number. Uh, there's, you know, 16 or 32, uh, depending on the size of your processor, there can be a lot of registers, and they will each store uh, single numbers that the processor is currently operating on. Um, with that said, it's important to remember that a processor will only do one thing at a time. Uh, it only looks like it's doing a bunch of things at a time because it does it so fast. Uh, those registers feed into the arithmetic logic unit inside of a processor, or the ALU, and that is probably uh, the more complex system inside of a CPU that does uh, addition, subtraction, and uh, all of the different mathematical operations that causes uh, the processor to work. My name is Dave Andrews, and I've just told you a little bit about CPUs.